Good morning, Evans Park and Franklin Avenue, and welcome back to another Watch and Win with Mr. Price. So for today's lesson, I'm gonna be doing a painting on a canvas. And if you wanna to try to follow along, you can certainly draw on a piece of paper. And I have Boris here who is rummaging through our recycled box of fun stuff to create. And I also have, I'm gonna pan you down here so you can see what I have. I have my canvas, I have my palette, and I have some paint, I have a cup of water, and I have the tiniest brush I can find, because I'm, I like to draw with my paint first, and then I put in all my color in today. So Boris is ready, and I'm ready, so let's get started. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just wet my brush, I'm going to use the paint as if I'm using it like a marker. Okay. Now you're going to see this upside down because unfortunately I have to paint like this to get started because otherwise I won't be able to make it look the best it can be. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to loosely block in some shapes. And you can see as I'm painting, if something goes off the page, I let it go off the page. I don't worry about it fitting into my artwork because it looks better when things go off naturally than trying to squeeze it in. I know a lot of kids tend to do that and it looks kind of squashed. All right, let's hold this up so you can see. Guesses yet? All right, let's go. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna turn that around. And let's see, can you guess what I'm doing? That's right, I'm doing the llama. So, now that I have my sketch in, the first thing I'm gonna do is work on the back. Okay, so boys and girls, I now added some more colors to my palette. I'm putting some white, I have some blue, and I have some of that beautiful navy blue. And the first thing I'm going to do is wet my brush, load up some paint, and I'm just going to first go around and loosen up that canvas by putting a little bit of white on. That kind of helps the paint to move nicely across the paper or the canvas. And I'm not worried about the black lines really too much because I can feather all that in. See what that white did? Just let me make that paint glide right on.
that background. Now, boys and girls, there's something that you should always do if you have a canvas, is always make sure before you move on, you take your paint and get those edges because you really could frame these board, these canvases, but most of the time we end up just leaving it as is. So always clean up your edging. It makes it look more professional. All right, so boys and girls, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to work on adding all of the darkest colors first. So I have my paintbrush and I'm going to load up my beautiful navy blue here. And I might take some of that lighter blue and mix it in to create my own shade of blue. I might take even just a drop of black just to deepen the color shade it out a bit. And the first thing I want to do is I'm just going to put in some of my darker values. Now, Okay, so boys and girls, what I did was I went in and I just mapped it in with some color. That way now I'm gonna let that dry and I can start adding in my next layer. It's always good to block in before you start adding all your details. So I'm gonna let that dry. I might put the hair dryer on it for a few minutes and then I'll show you the next step. All right, so I gave that a few minutes to dry, and now that color that's underneath will not get all mixed up into my next layer, which will add more detail to the painting. So boys and girls, I have a new palette of paint here. That way I can make some new colors. I hope you can see me. And there's my painting, it's dry. And I'm actually gonna turn it around, if you don't mind because I want to get a better look at it as I work. So I'm going to pan the camera down and let's watch how I do it.
think for his little straps, I'm gonna put those in. That's gonna help me map out his face a bit more. All right, so boys and girls, what I did was I took some more time and I worked on his face a bit more to give him some more definition. And now I'm gonna start to bring some of these darker tones down into his body. I'm gonna let that dry and then I can start to work on some highlighting. So boys and girls, I have these really cool crayon paints that you can use them like a crayon, or if you wet them, they will turn into paint. So I'm gonna add some of them.
All right, so boys and girls, I'm gonna let that dry for a few minutes. And once it dries, I can add my final details and I'm gonna call this painting done. happy with it. I might add a few more details, but I think you got the idea of how I painted it. It took many layers and it took a lot of looking and editing and going back and trying it again. So boys and girls, at this time I'm going to show you a picture. Take a look at the picture, study it, and my two questions are, who is the artist? And what is the name of the painting? So take a look. All right, so boys and girls, now that you had a chance to take a look at the painting, please have mom or dad email me your guess at price t at pearlriver.org, and I will put your name into the hat. And I'm going to make a second llama painting. That way we have two, one for an Evans Park student and one for a Franklin Avenue student. So good luck. Can't wait to hear from you and tune in next time to another Watch and Win. See ya!